Yo, yo. About to swap the hard drive on my PlayStation 4 here. Um, we have here, this is the 1000 uh, gigabyte Seagate uh, SSHD. That's a solid state hybrid, hybrid drive. And um, this is recommended over at IGN. So I'm going to pop this bad boy in and see how it works, you know. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. small as you can see very small size so I haven't actually done this before so bear with me but you just pull this thing outwards move this knife here there it goes pretty easy to do So there we have the hard drive right here. Looks like there's only one screw that's keeping that in place right there. So you can see it's actually a specialized screw. Look at it. It's got a little a little uh, PlayStation thing in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just unscrew that right there. And that's using the um, the plus sign screw as I like to call it. So there we have the one screw, put that right there, okay, and then this guy just slides right out, like so. There we have our hard drive. Now this is held in place by four screws right here. We're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. one down so this is a pretty easy process um, it doesn't seem to void your warranty or anything like that you just gotta keep a hold of your old hard drive put it in one of those static bags or something like that and um, you know if anything, if anything does go wrong with your system you can just put the old hard drive back in and then uh, you know return it to Sony and they'll never know you were in there I assume I don't know doesn't look like there's any kind of warranties that got voided or anything no seals or anything like I know with the Xbox one system if you try to open it in any way you're never gonna know that you opened it so alright last screw here got that bad boy out all right, so now that it's unscrewed, this bad boy slides out like so. Okay. Put that right there. And we're just gonna slide this in the same way, like so. Of course, the connector end is facing outwards, otherwise it wouldn't be touching anything. Like so. Alright. And then we just line up the holes and put the screws back in. Pretty easy process. So one of the biggest uh, improvements that people have noticed with this is increased, uh, decreased load times actually. And um, that, that should help with a lot of the downloaded games. And install times are a little faster. And for some of the games that have really ridiculous load times, um, it's drastically decreased. Like, I know Killzone, they were saying the single player load times were almost cut in half. So that's kind of cool. And I'm sure as more games release, we'll see the different benefits of those. But mainly I'm in it for the double 
the double capacity. We're going from 500 gigabytes standard there to having a thousand gigabytes. And with the PlayStation 4 games themselves, those games are getting big in size, I'd say. Kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, you buy this 500 gig hard drive and like 100 gigs of it is already used for the OS. So you're only left with really like 400 gigs left. And I think the swap is definitely useful. I think, uh, what game was it? NBA 2K was like 45 some gigs install. So right there, that's like, that's like a good, what? One fourth or what is it? One eighth or something of your hard drive? I, I'm terrible with math. All right, so we got the four screws back in. Let me just do another double check to make sure it's all tight. Tight, tight, tight. Pretty tight. And you're pretty tight too. So we're going to go ahead and slide this back in. Same way. Like so. Hear that little click there. And that tells us that it's all good. Go ahead and put this screw back in place here. And then screw this bad boy back in. Like so. Like, not so. There it goes. Like so. Alright, so we have that there. Grab the top lid back. And you kind of, you don't want to slide it back in like before. You want to pass this point here. You got to come from the back in like that. And then slide it in, like so. Come on, buddy. This is harder than it looks. Oh, there it goes. There we go. A hard drive is all swapped. Let's go ahead and teach you guys, or actually learn myself and teach you guys at the same time how to format this bad boy. Thank you for watching. Hey, now that we have our PlayStation 4 hard drive installed, the new one, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what you need to do next. Next step is you need a USB flash drive. Um, I know that the firmware update right now is at like 600 megabytes, 700 megabytes or something like that. So you're going to want something at least at large. You're going to want it to be skinny as well because the PlayStation 4, the little slot that you insert it in, is kind of, um, it, it won't fit like a larger USB stick. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that now. So first off, you're going to want to format your USB stick into a FAT32 file system. To do this, you're going to want to right click on your stick that you just inserted and go to format. Change the file system from NTFS, it, NTFS or whatever it is down to FAT32 and do a format. Keep in mind, this will erase all the contents of that flash drive. So once that's done, you're going to want to go to Google and type in Sony PS4 firmware. You'll find a link that says PC System Software Update Method. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to give you instructions on how to do this. Right there, once you download the file, you're going to want to open up, and open up your flash drive, create a folder called PS4. Inside of that folder, you're going to want to add another folder called Update, all in caps. And you're going to want to throw that file that you got right into that folder. And that's all you got to do with that. Let's take a look at the, uh, the install. Alright, so next up we're going to go ahead and insert our PlayStation... into our PlayStation 4, I should say, our USB stick. Notice that I mentioned before how skinny this little crevice is. Also, you're going to want to insert your cable, cabled controller into the other slot. Otherwise you're not going to be able to detect the controller since it's not synced. Let's go ahead and hit the power button and see what we got. I am on the wrong HDMI input. You're going to want to switch your TV to the right HDMI input <laughs> and see what we see. PlayStation 4 is making some noises. 
It's detecting that it's got a foreign hard drive most likely. Connect your dual shock four using the USB cable and then the press the PS button. I'll go ahead and do that now. Connect the USB device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 1.51 or later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let me just prop this uh, camera over here so I don't have to hold it the whole time. Like so. That is totally crooked. Let's go ahead and adjust you. Like so. That's fairly close. Let's see, a little crooked still. Right is left. Okay, up is down. Got it. Alright, so it says here the PS4 will be initialized. All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I'm going to do that. Initializing. Preparing to install system software. Seems to be going fairly fast right now. I can hear the PlayStation 4 spinning up right now. System software update. Here we go, it's installing the system software. We'll let that run a little bit. Not complete the update. Let's try the update again. That is strange. Okay, I got a weird me error message just now, so. Not exactly sure what that's all about. All right, thank you for joining us. We're back. It says here to uh, kill, uh, none of these are in English. Okay, it says Liga O DualShock Four. Uh, DualShock Four. <laughs> connect your connect your DualShock Four controller, like so, and hit the PlayStation button. Alright, we're going to want to do our setup and everything. This is pretty much the standard setup for the PlayStation 4. So, thank you for watching, guys. So, we're all finished here. And check it out. Well, I'm actually updating something right now, so... <laughs> that's why the gigabytes are slowly draining, but... We definitely have more than 500 gigabytes of space. Thank you for watching.